hello everybody and welcome to my channel thank you so much for joining me today i've got this is a bit of um a bit of a shock to me as well but i've got another new launch out this has been planned for a long time uh, but it was due to launch in june but uh due to circumstances we've pulled it forward into may which is actually my favorite month it's my children's birthday month and my mum's birthday month so uh, it's an exciting month all round so this is the textures in the stars collection uh, it's very much based on my daughter which is actually quite fitting as it's her birthday um it's dream catchers it's sort of crystal stars tarot cards all this sort of beautiful spiritual thing that um i've not actually seen much in the way of paper craft um tools and supplies in this theme so yeah really really exciting i'm going to run through the product for you and some samples i'm going to make a quick card as well um you'll be able to purchase this all now from right now it's actually launching officially tomorrow friday um the uh, i think it's the 12th friday the 12th of may on craft stash that's the official launch date but you should be able to go through the links in my description and purchase it now and of course if you are a craft stash vip member you'll get your 10 percent off as well um, and it is exclusive to craft stash you're not going to be able to buy this at the moment anywhere else so excuse the cars and the birds and everything i've got the doors open today because it's a lovely day uh, and why not so the first item we're looking at is the dream catcher die now you can see this if you did catch my live that was on uh, facebook and i will transfer that over to youtube soon you'll have seen me using it and putting this card together so this is the die it's one piece it's stunning i've never seen a dream catcher die cutting die with this much detail in and the amount that you can cut away is absolutely amazing as well if I just bring in actually at the side of my desk I've got a die cut here that I snipped away from the center here because I used it uh, I just used the brown hoop as such there I cut this away and that is so usable then you've got that floral image inside as well beautiful doily you could use that for so many other themes and other cards um, really really beautiful and then you've also got this let me just pull this away I've got it all tangled up with other die cuts but if you were to take these bits off you can have it with the hoop as well you can cut it straight of course just that white bit and then you've just got the feathers too if you just want to use those so really really versatile die um, this like I say this is the card now I've created this so that the feathers stay loose so that they've got a little bit of movement in them and also I've used a circle die and uh, a creative I'm not sure what they're actually called but it's the um, the plastic almost domes slight shaker shaker inserts to create a shaker with this one which you can never see on video of course but I've got some gorgeous glitter in there shaking about um, you can probably hear it more than anything and then like I say you've also got the movement in those feathers too lots of sparkle beautiful backing paper but I'll come to that in a moment so that is the dream catcher die and that's a lovely die it does go through your like your big shot machine your cuttle bugs that sort of size a5 ish size if uh, if that's what you prefer to use um, but of course if you've got a bigger machine then you'll be covered anyway then we've got the stamp set and I really love these again there's nothing like this out there there's nothing like this on the market that I've found um, from paper craft suppliers so um, I really love it you can probably tell which is my favorite I've done it in every color but they're both equally beautiful once you start playing with them and there's a lot that you can snip out as well you've got triangles circles moon shapes corners frames the same here you've got the uh, crystal ball you've got the hands you've got the clouds around the edge um, so here's a really simple card that I made using this stamp set and let's get the the gold highlighted there so I simply embossed that in fact I did this in my live as well so you can see me watching that soon or pop over to Facebook on my page Lou Collins crafts uh, I think it's Lou Collins crafts um, and you'll be able to find me there too um, but I simply embossed this in gold did some distress ink over the top the distress ink I wasn't too worried about keeping it neat and tidy because it is really a galaxy effect and then I cut out a word that we're going to come to afterwards as well. And it is just so pretty, isn't it? You could make a set of gift cards like this for somebody if you wanted to. It doesn't have to just be a sort of one occasion card. And then I've got another card using that same stamp set. And what I've done is I've stamped it onto the black and white card, the white card in black. 
I've then stamped it with stays on ink, a solvent ink onto mirror card and I've cut out areas and uh, sort of layered it up. So I've almost paper pieced, but um, layered it up on top. So you've got that image, this image here in two tone. And again, that backing paper will come to in a moment but isn't that gorgeous you can see my face in there too <laughs> but yeah lovely love 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 that stamp set uh, then another stamp set as well i love bringing you stamp sets i just think stamps are so versatile there's so much you can do with them these look a little bit dark because i've been inking them lots but there's a lot of fine detail in here as you'll see on here so each one of these has little stars moons um sort of galaxy effects inside of them even the plants uh, and the cat has little you can just about see it there um like i say my stamps have been used an awful lot i wonder actually if i take that off you can see that better can see the the details inside the stamps and alongside these bigger sort of hero images that you can see here and you can build up uh, whether it be backgrounds or main images you've also got things like little planets you've got stars you've got butterflies you've got crystals as well um, you've got little leaves so you've got a couple of butterflies here and the bird and you can of course start layering and adding them in and they're actually I think on this particular card what makes that image even more special is just the smaller pieces dotted around with this one it's simply black on white i did um i did restamp this area and the the moon and the arrows and cut those out and laid them on top so i don't know if you can see that we've got a bit of foam underneath there we go uh, and that's just sort of brought a little bit of depth and dimension to an otherwise flat image but it would have been just as beautiful otherwise and that does mean that you could then layer over the ends of the tails of the feather there sorry the tails of the arrow there over that sort of circle of planets or whatever you want whatever you want it to be the ring of circles there so you didn't have the overlapping within the stamping and another example of this stamp set here uh, again these two are kind of my favorite two images as you can probably tell um, in the background I have got a stencil which we'll come to and a word die which we'll come to as well in a moment but yeah just embossed in gold there on black and cut out and you can separate them you can have them together um, I have got the cat as well I'll show you the cat in just a moment stamped um, but I just love these I love finding different ways different um, sort of compositions for these stamps then as I did say we've got this word die here word panel die now this comes as sort of eight pieces um, but one is a really large die let's just grab this out for you so that it's the whole piece okay so all of those words now we've got moon sparkle star sign dream believe to sun destiny dream and energy so we've got all of those words there together linked together to create beautiful backgrounds like this and if you want a subtle but text background look at that isn't that just fun i haven't put any other images over there i've simply cut that out used uh, black foam to raise up the words and slot it back in and it's a background that i made myself as well um but there you can see it a bit more clearly there i just think that's lovely for somebody who loves this sort of theme and you've got all the words in there and if you are giving a card that's not for a particular occasion it's great to have as a background and then what i've also got is uh, a selection of the words not all of them but a selection of them picked out ones that i thought you might want to use separately uh, on their own so we saw the word destiny there earlier i'm going to use the word dream in my card i'm going to make in the moment um but these are all you can they're exactly the same size as on this die so you can layer them up if you want to if you want to pick out one word with a color you can do that so there's lots of different techniques you can do with those now talking about the stencil that um, I said in the background we've got that sort of that sunburst stencil I adore it now this was with texture paste and then while it was wet I put gold embossing powder over I let it dry and then I heat set the embossing powder and it's created this gorgeous effect um, so within this stencil set you've actually got two A5 stencils so you've got that sunburst there but you can see let's just pop a bit of black card underneath so you can really see it this one's a bit dirty I have still got paste on it which is really naughty and I certainly don't recommend leaving your stencils dirty like this, but hey ho. Um, so that's one of them. And these come in the set together, it's not a choice. So, and then you've got the gorgeous sort of star signs in there, the astronomy type background. So again, let's see a couple of cards using this. So we've seen this one. Then I've got 
that background there that's what I did this the astronomy so I did the gold embossing just simply inking clear embossing ink through the stencil onto white cardstock um, I then embossed it with gold powder and then I did my ink blending over the top so like a resist you could do it the other way around but you must make sure your blended ink is dry before you do your embossing so that's that one and then I've got again that starburst in the, with the same technique with the gold in the background there this is also looking at a couple of those word dies from the die we've just looked at just snipped out I've put them in the background by having them with black a little bit to sort of make them blend into the background a little bit not too striking um, and because I wanted this to be the focus so this is just the moon the cat and the butterfly here we can lift the butterfly up just lay it up and I just think you can really personalize these cards to the person that you're giving them to you know whatever their preference is so there's two stencils and then lastly I've referred to this quite a bit but the paper pack the A5 paper pack it's so pretty I mean just look at that isn't it gorgeous it's very much a kind of a peach and a deep purple with hints of pink running through um, I mean these are just so so pretty I don't, I don't know if I've got a fate I think that this one might actually be my favorite mind you mind you if I've still got it because there's four of each so somewhere my other favorite shouldn't have favorites I know I don't know if I've still got it in here I'm not sure maybe it's that one I'd have to find there it is and there's my other favorite because you've got more of the orange in that one as well there's so much detail it's stunning absolutely stunning so uh, there's a paper pack and I just like to give you a paper pack where possible because it just helps with coordination and keeping your colors all coordinated and everything if you want to create a card using those but as you've seen you can really go off with any colors you want to and I definitely recommend if I just bring these in I mean look monochrome and just maybe a hint of gold or silver or maybe make that a teal and just have one complementary color that goes with all your neutrals and you don't have to be thinking about colour too much with this collection. It really does lend itself to keeping things monotone and simple and just focusing on the detail. So shall we make a card with this? Like I say, if you're loving this and you want to go and browse online, um, you can do so. The links are all down below for you. They are affiliate links, but of course anything that you click on and uh, go and find through affiliate links if you do purchase I get a very small amount of commission from that purchase but it doesn't cost you any extra it just helps me along the way with uh, designing these products so shall we look at this stamp because I really really do love this so I just need to find my stamping platform and I always use the creative craft products one I'm going to stamp onto black smooth cardstock this is actually stamping cardstock um, but you know you can do so many other techniques with it as well because I'm going to be heat embossing I'm going to uh, use my embossing pad an anti-static pad always use this when I'm heat embossing because it just helps with the detail particularly as this stamp does have an awful lot of detail in it now I'm going to stamp into the black cardstock and cut it out so there's no particular position that this stamp needs to be in on the cardstock as long as I can cut around the edge now when your stamp is brand new brand brand new so it's a good idea to prime your stamp which I'm going to do in just a second but also because this is a large stamp a large pl uh, piece of um, the stamp material there what I do is I put it in position and then I fold back half of it and I roll it onto the platform and then I just do the same the other end and this just ensures that you don't have any air bubbles trapped underneath there because if you do have air bubbles that can affect the way that the um, the stamp stamps the impression so the first the next thing I need to do is add my embossing ink so I've got the Tim Holtz Distress Embossing Ink, but you, you, whether you've got Wow or Versafine, sorry, Versamark, uh, there's all sorts out there. This one's actually drying up a little bit, so I'm just sort of trying to get the last use out of it before I get rid and replace. Um, but yeah, I, I don't find much in the way of a difference between all the embossing inks. They all work very much in the same way. Uh, the great thing about the Versamark, though, is that you can, of course, uh, use that as a 
Versamark as a fine watermark ink pad as well. That's what it's sort of made for, but it's perfect for embossing too. So I'm just pressing down because this has got a lot of detail and it's a large, large piece. So I am just pressing down in all the areas. This stamping platform, if you like the look of this, is also uh, linked below. Just checking, I'm just checking it in the light. If I hold it up to the light, you can just about hopefully see that. You can see the detail. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So then I'm going to take a, it's a Wow Embossing Powder. It's the Opaque Bright White, and it's just the regular one. But I find this is lovely and fine, and it really captures the details. So let's just pull this over. And there's nothing wrong with putting the entire pot down. So you're going to decant it back into the pot anyway, so I don't see any issue with using as much as you need to. You can use a piece of scrap paper here, but I think I'm pretty safe just popping this back into the pot there Get as much as possible I'm trying not to crease my cardstock just bend it and then there we go tap that off you see there's some more there so I'm just going to bring that behind me and just shake that uh, give it a little tap if you need to and you'll notice all the excess go there now because I've used the distress um, ink pad and I said that was running out so I've not got a sharper lines in some places but do you know what it's fine we'll see how it comes out so with my heat tool let's get this warming up and I'm going to go from underneath now this is a really thick black cardstock so it may take me just a few minutes to get the heat through well it won't take a few minutes but it may take 30 seconds or so for the heat to start getting through that cardstock and melting the powder on top there we go so there's my uh, sort of tarot card image it's been heat embossed like I say the embossing ink was perfect I definitely need to replace that now I don't think that's going to last much longer at all um, I'm actually going to keep this here because I'm going to reuse it that I can cut out now now you can either use your trimmer or you can just use some scissors it's a really nice simple image to cut out so now I've done that what I also need is some white cardstock because I need to do kind of a reverse so I'm going to take no I don't want that that one's a pearlescent type cardstock I just want a plain cardstock so this one will work and I'm going to just do a bit of there we go a little bit of inking so we need a blending mat or what I'm going to actually do instead of using a blending mat is use the plastic that some of the um, stamps and dies come in I think usually the stamps to be honest and I'm going to use that as my blending mat and these so I've got evergreen bow salvage patina and uncharted mariner starting with uncharted mariner now I don't need this entire panel um, inked so I'm just going to do Maybe just, probably just do half of it, I think. Beautiful. Love that. Okay. So we've got more of the Uncharted Mariner throughout. That is my favourite colour of the three. Now what I'm going to do is... That wasn't cut very straight. That's fine. I can put that... I'm going to tear this just to give it a jagged edge. Yep, okay, and I'm also going to do a little bit of ink splatting, which I always do when I've done a background, like so. That's going to react with the Distress Oxide and give us a really lovely mottled, speckled look. Now you can leave that to dry naturally. Um, you can lift that up with kitchen towel, which I'll just show you what happens if you lift it up with kitchen towel really quite quickly. Uh, it does still work. The, if you want the best result, best leave it as long as possible for the water to react um, but let's just place this on speed up the process a bit lift that up and you'll see you've got that lovely speckled effect now to really enhance this I'm just going to give it a whiz dry just use my heat tool and dry that up a little bit more there was quite a bit of water on there because I spritzed it lightly first and that gives us the tiny little speckles and then the big blobs I sprayed water into my hand and flicked it on but it's just a technique I'm just I'm so used to doing without talking through what I'm doing 
there we go so that's a little bit of bowing but that's fine now let's take this into our stamping platform again well this is going to go towards the I'll probably actually probably take these down a little bit more take a little bit more of the uh, torn edge off of this so it's not quite so big and bold because I don't want to lose too much of the detail of the stamp with the finished effect so get this quite a bit closer there that's much better so that's going to come on this edge I am going to trim this down a bit more um, but just trying to guess whereabouts I want my stamp so if I stamp this stamp it there so just use a magnet either end where I can to hold that still and then I can cut away the parts that I don't want quite easily and I'm going to stamp it this time in black so let's find oh, what's the best one? versifying Claire that will work I only need to ink this side actually again this is starting to get a bit dry all oh, my ink pads I think I need I need a little shop I need to go to craft stash and stock up on some of my ink pads I have got newer ones about but I always get the new ones mixed up with the old ones so there's just so much detail in there it's so beautiful I'm hoping you'll actually see the detail even more now with the black on the color rather than the white emboss look at that it's just stunning just so so pretty so I'm not going to go over that again that's enough and I'm going to trim this down so let's take it let's just take it to here to start with and let's see so we'll have to line this up so it's a case of just working out exactly where it fits within the design that's not too bad actually I like that I think that's about right so all I need to do is trim these edges so that they also fit take take it down to the edge of the frame just as I did with the black please do leave me a comment let me know uh, which is your favorite element of this new launch and don't forget to join me on craft stash as well tomorrow so that's Friday the 12th of May where I'll be demonstrating again more demos there we go I'm going to attach that just there I think that looks lovely so just glue I'm not going to worry about um, raising this up with foam or anything because I want to make sure that the, the stamped image is flowing really nicely between the two colors just again making sure that everywhere is lining up just perfectly so it's flawless love that now one thing I am going to do just to bring this out a little bit more make it just a little bit more blended take black soot and you can absolutely do this before or after you glue it on I'm just going to ink these edges and that will blend that in a little bit better into the black let's bring this back those edges there I will do these torn edges I think a little there we go yeah I'm really pleased with that lovely now I want a nice bright sentiment to stand out so I'm going to take I'm going to use this scrap of cardstock because I don't like to waste anything and I'm going to use this one I like to I like to layer up my sentiments a few times so let's take in here we've got the word oh destiny or a dream I do like the word dream I think that's really lovely let's see dream let's use this I'm going to cut this twice just from the white cardstock and then I'm going to layer those up so we'll come back when I've glued these together so I've done two layers of cardstock there but I've decided that actually that's probably not quite enough for the depth that I want on this I'm just going to take gently a piece of uh, this is the creative adhesive foam I've die cut it try and I'm trying to leave it within 
the background there to not not release it just use my pokey tool and take off the top layer so the foam die cuts beautifully as you can see all the way through just don't run it through twice only run it through once if you run it forwards and backwards again you do risk then it getting it double cut so you don't want that you just want a nice clean cut through once and to lay my die cut over the top much easier while it's still in the background as such with the excess around it because it's all held in place and in shape like this so press that down and then we can remove the outer piece and this is, can be a little bit fiddly, fiddly even with the most the most sort of simple and bold of words but it's definitely a step that I do very often I've done it in lots of my cards as well that I showed you um, because it is worth taking the time to do so just pop out a piece between the A that's a, just a bit of paper there between the R but if you've got anything any discs that need um, so if I show you for example the word stars the middle of the A and the R would need popping back in so just be aware of keeping those to the side and then lastly let's take the backing off I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put this yet on my card I think it's going to go hmm, let's see where does that look I wonder if we should have it at the top there I think that's a nice yeah that's a nice position there like so lovely and I think I'm going to keep that bright white as well make that really stand out so if I wanted to then I could come in and um, just stamp um, and cut out a few of these images too I think maybe <clears throat> let's see so we've got the background I really want the background to kind of shine I want that to be the main part so I might think about that I might leave that off for now uh, let's finish this card with simple card base so just pop that on there's a car outside but never mind or van it's a minibus actually it's a community minibus there we go pop that on and I think I'll just finish that off with a few of these I think these are beautiful they're just little uh, little sort of raindrop pearls there I think they're going to work really well with this look so let's say we'll put one here there's a smaller one and then there's one more oh there's one I'm going to have to restock these there we go so we've got those sort of bubbles as such let's pull that just to the side a little bit just take off the excess glue there that will all dry clear yeah I like that that's really pretty so there's an overview for you of the new textures in the stars collection um, this is all launching it's now available available now as this video is live for you to go and have a look at um, I'm going to be uploading a video that concentrates on each one of these products on its own so we've got the stencils there we've got the dream catcher die as well that's always a fun video to create for you um, we've got both stamp sets and we've also got the word dies too and of course the papers so I hope you've enjoyed this I hope you love the collection as much as I do I look forward to showing you lots more that you can do with this join me tomorrow live on craft stash at 12 30 there will be a giveaway as well um, but please do pop through the link and take a look at everything the prices are absolutely amazing as always from craft stash and of course, if you're a VIP, you're going to get your 10% off. Thank you, everybody. Uh, take care. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. A thumbs up would be great. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.